Rigatiga Shawa has exposed the government. Uh, some few weeks ago, ilikuwa imesemekana kwamba there were police officers wenye walienda kwa Fred Matiangi and they wanted to arrest him. After this was revealed out to Kenyans, serikali ilitoka ikachitetea kwamba sio wao walikuwa wanataka kumkamata Fred Matiang. Hiyo ni kuchiwekelea. Later, DCI ikaita Fred Matiang andike statement on what happened. Mulinzi wa Fred Matiang the Getman alisema kwamba yeye alifukuswa akachapwa ndio askari wakaingia kwa boma ya Fred Matiang. Now today, Rigathi Gashawa is he exposing the government after they denied that sio wao walikuwa huko but ni kujiekelea ndio wakenya wajue kwamba serikali ni mbaya inamtafuta Fred Matiang. And this week uh, Fred Matiang uh, alikuwa anahitajika DCI at a statement but alitoka nje ya Kenya for family matters kulingana na lawyer wa Fred Matiang that's what he said Ladies and gentlemen welcome to my YouTube channel my name is Dalmas if you are for the first time kindly I'm requesting that you take your time subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that every time I'm going to do any video YouTube is going to notify you and don't forget to like this video because the more you give it more likes YouTube will recommend it to other people so ladies and gentlemen kulingana na the deputy president Rigathi Gashawa leo amesema kwamba serikali ya uhuru kenyata walikuwa wanaipa pesa and they used to transport billions of money with choppers na watu walikuwa wana receive easy pesa they were people who were in the government ame mention Fred Matiang kwamba mtu akiitwa andike statement eh, anatorokea the other countries definitely hakuna mtu mwingine ameitwa andike statement na amenda outside the country apart from Fred Matiang na hiyo ndio Gatiga Shawa amesema na for now hakuna kitu kingine serikali itaisasema kwamba Eh, sio wao walikuwa wanataka kumkamata Fred Matiang there is no way they can give an excuse to Kenyans we now know that Fred Matiang is under arrest and time he might be arrested by the government because of the money they are claiming that serikali ilikuwa ya huru walipa pesa mingi sana eh, before i continue i want to leave you with this video watch it then tuongelee kidogo tuone what is going to happen after this so have a look stolen from covid when people are dying two days before the elections they stole 6 billion and pretended to sell some shares from telco when there was a case before supreme court they stole another 10 billion purportedly to pay some contractors. Money was being brought in cartons at Wilson Airport and flown with choppers to people's homes. And these are the people now who are scared and do a good job and take a statement to the and they are going to get And these people who are thieves, who are calling them are thieves, I want to confirm to you that Donyo Jeru in the road will be constructed. <laughs> the 57 kilometers that are going from Mau Road, we are going to complete all of them.
this is enough evidence that uh, Fred Matiangi at road Kenya he might be arrested so uh, did you come afraid Matiangi at this uh, road Kenya uh, you really got shower me say makwamba he was expected to go and write a statement but akatoka outside the country kama hii yenyewe itamfikia na ako outside the country je yeah. we unaona Fred Matiangi at this road Kenya ama atendrea kukaa UK mali alienda na tunajua when the president of this country after he was sworn in as the president alisema kwamba if you were working in the government of Uhuru Kenyatta masiasi ndio alikuwa anaongelea sana aliwaambia there is no going outside the country unless the president himself permits them to go outside the country so here fred matian eh, ilishika watu awako wanajua kama ata enda outside the country alienda maybe even the government yenyewe iko inajua juini kitu ilikuja ghafla wa Kenya wao wanajua and they come to know that fred matiangi is not in our country so ladies and gentlemen I don't want to continue with this video. That's what I had for you. I think you have seen what is happening in this country. Keep on subscribing to my channel and I will be giving you updates on what is happening in this country and what is likely to happen.